Welcome to the first video in our reverse engineering Android APK series. Today we're going to outline popular tools and walk through installing them. I'm using Linux, specifically Ubuntu 18.04, but as you'll see, there are installation instruction pages for all of these tools. We're going to start by installing APK tool. Now, this is great for decompiling Android APKs, and it's pretty extensively used. If you've done any research onto reverse engineering for Android, you've likely seen this tool. Now, you can install it through apt-get. Um, the problem is you don't really get the best version of APK tool. Um, you're not guaranteed to get the newest version, so we're going to go directly to the actual website and download it directly. Now, if you go to the install page, there are actually pretty extensive installation instructions for APK tool. We're going to start by downloading this wrapper script that's just going to make everything a little bit easier for us. And we're going to save it as just APK tool without any extension. We're going to rename our downloaded jar file to just aptool.jar, presumably because the wrapper script will be looking for that file name instead of the one with the version number we have. And we're going to move both of these files into our user local bin directory. And you're going to need super user access to be able to do this. So bring out the good old sudo or sudo or however you pronounce it. Now that those two files exist in our bin directory, we're just going to go right to that directory and we're actually going to give them executable permissions. Now that we have everything executable, we can just run apk tool as a command and we get the man page for how to use it. Next, we're going to install dex to jar. This tool will convert our classes.dex file into a jar file, which can then be disassembled by a tool called JDGUI that we'll install in a bit. So here we are on the GitHub page. We're actually just going to either download the zip file or you can do it the fun GitHub way and clone the repo. We're gonna do it that way because I just really like the command line and uh, clone the dex to jar repo into my tools folder that just lives on my desktop for the sake of this tutorial. Within this directory, you'll see a few references to Gradle files. Gradle is an open source build automation system, and we're going to use it to create a zip file containing the distribution we need from source. This is going to give us the shell script we'll use for the actual conversion process. The zip file we just created lives in dex tools forward slash build forward slash distribution. So we can see it right there, and we're just going to have to unzip it in whatever directory you choose in order to actually access that shell script that I mentioned we'll be using for the conversion. I like to store these files in my tools directory just because I always know where they are then, um, but you could add them to your path if you really wanted to. Now if you go into that directory that we just created and unzipped, you will see a whole bunch of shell script files. That's exactly what we want. If you don't want to have to go through that whole process of building from source, you can actually just go to sourceforge.net, find the dex2jar project, and download the zip file directly. It's a much easier way to do it, but I thought I'd show you both ways because the Gradle building is kind of fun. One thing to note is that if you look at this directory that we just downloaded from SourceForge, none of these shell script files are actually given executable permissions. So you're going to have to do that manually as opposed to building from source when all of those files had permissions. Using the tool is as simple as running the d2j-dex2jar shell script, and there we can see the man page for dex2jar. Next, we're going to install a great Java decompiler called JDGUI. We're going to download the .deb formatted package for JDGUI, just to show another way of installing software packages on some Linux distros. As you can see, there are packages for every operating system you could need on the install page. dpackage, or Debian package, is a package management system. We're going to use it to easily install that .deb formatted software package for JDGUI. All you do is pass in the I flag for install along with the actual file you want to install and it will live with the rest of your software. 
Next, we're going to install another Java decompiler. This one is called Jadex or Jadex, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And we're going to build this one from source um, because you're actually downloading it directly from a GitHub repo. Now if we go into our build directory again, we'll see the distribution we just created as that jadex 07 unstablezip file. Once again, I'm just going to move it to my tools directory to keep everything kind of in the same place. Once we unzip that distribution and look through the bin directory, we'll see a couple of different options. One that gives you the option of running jadex as a GUI, and the other that allows you to use it within the command line. So here we can see the jadex-gui, which is the executable that will allow us to run jadex, the actual application, and the other jadex file will allow you to run it in the command line. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to install the Android Software Development Kit, or Android SDK. As you can see, using apt-get or apt-cache, you can actually search for the Android SDK and you've got a few different options. We're just going to install the general Android-SDK software package and that'll give us what we need to use APK tool later on. Another option is to just install Android Studio directly because that will include the Android SDK and that will also allow you to use the emulator or to debug applications you install. You can find more cybersecurity news and tutorials on my Twitter, Instagram, and blog. Click on this next video to see how to use these tools to reverse engineer Android applications and analyze malware or any other applications you may have downloaded from your device.